guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this red hair color on my bundles i'll be showing you guys how i bleached my hair and how i colored as well i have 20 inch hair and this hair is from she's happy hair for today's video you will need two bleach packets and you would need your developer as well And the hair color that I'm using today is Rich Amber by Adore and the number is 78 as you guys can see. You will also need a bleaching bowl and a bleaching brush. Also aluminum foil so it can process better. So for my bleach I like it to be more on the thick side instead of water. Watery because I feel that's when it processes the most when you make it too watery It takes forever to process and it might not even process so I'm gonna show you guys I like my consistency to be thick Now you guys see me laying out my hair and I'm going to be applying this bleach all over my hair except at the very top like the root part. When I get to the roots I'm going to do like feathery type motions because I want it to be an ombre that way I do not have to dye my leave out when I sew in my hair so I just blend in the bleach and I will show you guys that. When you're bleaching your hair, make sure you get the bleach everywhere and even lift up your bundles and fold it to make sure you got the bleach everywhere. As you guys see, I missed some parts so I made sure I lifted up my bundles and got bleach on all of the parts. My developer, I chose to use 30 because I wanted my hair to be light but I did not want it to be super light. I wanted the burgundy look so if you use a higher developer like 40, your color will apply lighter on your bundles This is the part where I decided to show you guys like how I turn my brush to get close to the roots and make it blend instead of making a blend line. that I got all the hair I'm gonna roll it up and blow dry it for just a little bit so it can process a little bit more he makes the bleach process faster now I'm just gonna wash out all the bleach and condition my hair and I will show you guys the after effect now all my hair did not come out the same color when I got more towards the end I started running out of bleach and all the stores were closed so I just made what I had work and it was more watery so it didn't come out the same color as the very first part that got bleached but it's okay because even though there are going to be some darker parts 
I wanted a dark burgundy look so me not all having my hair bleached one color didn't really matter because I used a dark hair color. Now you guys see me applying the hair color onto a, my hair on a plastic bag and I used the plastic bag because I just felt like it was the way that was less messy and when you're done um, applying the color to your hair you can just tie the trash bag up and just let it sit in process so that's why I apply my hair color onto a plastic bag so I can tie it when I'm done and there's not much of a mess so all I'm doing here is applying the hair color everywhere all over the bundles and making sure I just get the hair color spread throughout the whole bundle almost done applying the color everywhere I ended up tying up the plastic bag and letting my hair sit for a total of about 45 minutes and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all conditioned so here I'm showing you guys what the hair looks like all conditioned I did not wash it because you should not wash your hair right after you color it and I'm going to compare this bundle to another bundle to show you guys how um, how much they look just alike and it didn't matter that all of my hair didn't come out bleached the same way because this is the end result. So I sold my hair in and this was the end result for the color and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.